Hello, my name is Sergio Delama, and in this video I'm going to show you how to update an application using uh, Open Rewrite, uh, Micronaut 3 to Micronaut 4 recipe. Uh, I'm going to go to, uh, I have this Micronaut guide, I'm going to uh, take the uh, Micronaut data uh, JDBC guide, uh, I'm going to select the Gradle guide. Uh, we support uh, Open Rewrite recipes for both uh, Gradle and Maven. In this video I'm just going to show you Gradle. Uh, I'm gonna uh, drag and drop this application to um, my ID and uh, I'm gonna run the test of my application so that you see that the test uh, pass and this is indeed a Micron 3 application it's a Micron 392 application to be uh, exact the tests are being executed using um, test resources is creating actually a MySQL database uh, through test containers and running my functional test against it. I'm going to create a Git repository which is going to be useful to um, see the changes that uh, the Open Rewrite plugin is going to do. So I'm going to create here a Git repository and I'm going to um, do a, a commit. Let me get ignore um, these folders first and do here like initial commit. How can you uh, use the uh, open rewrite integration that we have? Uh, it's really easy. We are going to have to uh, add a Gradle plugin uh, and then some uh, configuration that I'm going to show you in a moment. So I'm going to come here to build.gradle and we're going to add here the uh, open rewrite uh, Gradle plugin. Um, next, uh, I'm going to add a um, dependency to the open rewrite mycot um, recipe. And we have to use the Gradle configuration rewrite, which is a special word um, that you can use when you apply the open rewrite Gradle plugin. And the last step is to add some configuration. So I'm going to add a configuration to uh, essentially for the active recipe. So I'm going to go from a uh, micro three to micro four migration. Um, and the next thing is I'm going to run a rewrite, um, rewrite run. And this is going to try to update my application from micro um, three to micro four. And we are going to see the changes uh, in our Git repository that is uh, did. I'm going to create commits uh, and we are going to uh, comment the changes uh, required to update. The, this execution can take a little time, but now it's done. Uh, so I'm going to open um, a Git Tower, which is a graphical user interface that I use to do Git. So I'm going to commit these changes, which essentially is um, changing uh, from JavaX validation to Jakarta validation. So I'm going to say JavaX to Jakarta validation. Then uh, it changed my Micronaut version number in Gradle properties. I'm going to say set a Micronaut version to 400. It has updated Gradle to Gradle 8. Um, so I'm going to commit that uh, update to Gradle 8 or upgrade. Has removed Jancy uh, through from Lockback. And then it has updated the Micronaut uh, plugins to. So one of the things that I can do is I can remove the uh, changes that I did to my build file adding the open rewrite because uh, once I am updated, I don't need to keep those in place. So I'm going to say uh, update the Micronaut Gradle plugins uh, to Micronaut uh, Gradle plugin version 4. So update uh, Micronaut Gradle plugins to 400. It has updated the Shadow Jar plugin to 8.11. Uh, so I'm going to say shadow jar gradle plugin to 811. 
it has detected that this application had this uh, YAML configuration and it has added the snake YAML dependency. So I'm going to add here uh, add a snake YAML dependency since we have YAML config. Micronaut for Java baseline version is 17, so I'm going to set set Java baseline version to 17 and uh, the validation has changed so instead of having a, I have to add the micro uh, validation processor and I have to add the uh, micro validation uh, both in the group ID IO micro validation I'm going to say new validation validation dependencies And it has added also the Java transaction API, which I think I need to resolve a uh, Jakarta transaction transactional. Um, at Jakarta transaction API dependency. And I don't need the Jakarta notation API dependency because I believe actually that's a transitive. Notation, remove unnecessary. Jakarta annotation API. So that should be my uh, upgrade to Micronaut 4. So I basically did uh, all these commits, uh, less than a dozen commits. Uh, all the changes were done by the open rewrite uh, Micronaut 3 to Micronaut 4 recipe. I'm going to try to run build and let's see if the uh, test still pass with the Micronaut 4 application. And that's it, the test passed. So we have successfully updated uh, seamlessly a Micronaut 3 to Micronaut 4 using Open Rewrite. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and we are looking forward for you to uh, upgrade your Micronaut applications to Micronaut 4 and give us feedback. Um, keep watching and thanks for using Micronaut.